so in this video we are going to demo channel management for Microsoft Teams a product by Agat Software we'll see how to move and copy channels as well as archiving and exporting them so first let's have a look at how to move a channel to another team so here what you can see in the team's environments is the sales team we're in the channel called request from customers as you can see there are posts and files there's even a wiki uh, with a lot of information in it and you can add additional tabs like the tasks tab now when we go into the sphere shield admin portal you can see in the ms teams management section a list of all your teams you simply click manage next to one of the teams you select a channel and select move then uh, once you've select move you'll need to enter your destination team so in this case we're moving this channel to the developers team continue and you get a message saying that the selected channels will be moved from the sales team to the developers team uh, meanwhile once the move is going on you can have a look in the channel management auditing section uh, to see what's going on as you can see over here the operation is in progress you can see which channel is being moved to which team uh, there's also more information to see who moved the channel as you can see we've received a pop-up on the bottom right hand corner saying that the operation was a success and if we refresh the page here you can see that yes indeed the operation was a success so now let's go back into the team's environment and see the magic so in the developers team we have this moved channel the requests from customers channel all the posts have been moved the files have also been moved they'll be moved in SharePoint 2 the wiki was moved over and indeed if we go to the tasks tab the tasks have also been moved this is what it looks like to move a channel in teams now what about merging two channels together so now we're going to explore merging two channels together so here we're in the invoices channel again it's in the sales team it has posts as you can see and in the developers team we have a channel called QA invoices uh, which also has its posts we are then going to go back into the sphere shield admin portal click manage on the team that we are dealing with we select the invoices channel and then we select merge then we have to choose the destination team and the destination channel once we've done that our invoices channel will be merged with the QA invoices meanwhile we can see in the auditing section the progress and if we go back into the developers team we can see now the QA invoices has all the posts from the invoices channel the two channels have been merged together it will also include the files and tabs now what about archiving a channel so archiving a channel is great for uh, putting to the side channels which are not being used anymore here we have the finished project channel it's got its posts as you can see again we're going back into the admin portal we're clicking manage again uh, next to the sales team the finished project team we're, we're channel we're selecting and we are archiving so what this will do is it will create a new team for archiving and this channel will then be moved into this team for archiving in the auditing section again you can see that the operation was a success back in the team's environment we go to the archiving team these are all the various different channels that have been archived we go to the finished project channel and you can see that all the posts are there as was now what about exporting a channel to PDF so this is another feature in the channel management product here we have the project Centurion channel 
and again it's got all its different posts and files some of the posts are images some of them are gifs again back in the admin portal we click manage next to the sales team we select the channel and then we select export the portal tells us that we will be receiving an email with the exported version a pdf version of the channel content so let's open up this email and we see here the pdf let's open up this pdf and see what's inside here you have all the content of the microsoft teams channel again it's a great way to uh, archive or to have on record the content from teams what about converting a public channel to a private channel so this isn't something that you can do natively in teams uh, but using channel management, we can actually make this conversion. So here we have the ultra secret public channel. It's got its posts. It's also got files. And what we essentially want to do is make this a private channel. So what we've done here is we've created a private channel, an empty private channel. And we're simply going to merge the public channel into the private channel making it private so what we do here is we find our sales team again we f select the ultra secret public channel and then we select merge just as we saw before when selecting merge you need to choose the destination team as well as the destination channel so that's the sales team and the destination channel will be private and ultimately what we're doing here is we are merging the public channel into the private channel essentially converting all that content into a private channel again we'll go to the auditing section the channel management auditing and you can see that this merge uh, on the top row there is in progress uh, at the bottom we have already received a notification a pop-up on the bottom right hand corner saying that the operation was a success and if we go back into our team's environment what we have is the ultra secret private channel and it contains all the posts and if we look in the files tab we should see the files there also this is now a private channel 